Hello and welcome to the Switch Underground. My name is Danny. Today we're going to take a look at Grood. It is a super hard, super fast shmup. And this game uh, code was provided by the uh, publisher. There was a horde of machines out there, but you had to find a way. That's why you built Grood. Dun dun dun. Kind of cool. Remember a uh, little TV boy you'll see here in a minute. By CC Arts and Dragius Games Factory. It's got some good music though. I like it. So there's a continue enabled after level four. Highest I've ever gotten is level three. It's like that hard. Look at these difficulties you can choose from. Hard, 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 or hard. Dun, dun, dun. Hope everybody's having a good day today. If it's morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. Hope it's a good one. This is us as Grood. Mm. Diet Mountain Dew. I love it. It's got a rocking soundtrack, dude. I like it. So... As with most uh, shmups where there's a lot going on, it pays to stay still, actually. Micro adjustments, dude. You're gonna have missiles coming in, you're gonna have those boys that are dive bombing you all day. And then you got these, uh, these other guys that are like moving back and forth. Ugh. So I'm just gonna try to focus. The goal here, get to level four. I don't know if we're gonna do it. Basically just kind of taking a look at the game right now. We're a little... It looks like we're a TV dude. If you've ever read the comic Saga, there's a race of people who have TVs for heads. Totally reminds me of those guys. 100%. So we're just gonna, like, stay here in the middle. Try to get the jump on any of these boys we can. And not get hit by those. Uh, uh. It's kind of cool. You'll see what happens. If I take enough damage, the screen actually will, uh kind of start to crack it's kind of neat and there is a slowdown mechanic so when things start to get like super spicy you can actually slow down all of the action and it's actually really effective um ouch i like that mechanic but uh, these guys right here that are dive bombing you if you can't get a few shots on them before they make their move just get out of the way Ooh. anyway it's tough but the music is nice, and you will take damage if you hit the ground, so you gotta be careful. There's a lot more screen real estate here than they let you, than they lead on. You can actually go up, and then back down, and it reveals more stuff there. Oh, there was a missile. And the missile boy here, those are the ones that'll sneak up on you. Because you'll be like trying to move out of the way of the dive bombers here, or out of this like snaky thing. And then they'll come after you. Well, that was a pretty flawless first world run. But the second world is the hardest. This is the bamboo forest or whatever they're calling it. And this one's a little harder because there's like those guys. Oh, and you get a new weapon here if you want. Oh, I activated my slowdown. So this is the shotgun. What I don't like about it is you can't hold the button down. You gotta keep pushing it. But it does a lot of damage, dude, if you're up close. Oh, he's trying to shoot us. Uh-oh. But those guys you can take out in one hit if you do it, right? But yeah, those guys are definitely, you know, Steridan inspired. Steridan has a ton of those dudes. They're like, I'm just gonna shoot this laser and you're gonna have a bad day. One thing that's kind of funky is the audio kind of craps out here with this track. Like you can hear it dude, it's like a little, little scratchy. And I think this game uh, came out on the 23rd. I've played a little bit, like I said, I haven't got past the third world. But uh, this run, looking pretty good so far. As long as we stay out of the poop, I think we're okay. That is not staying out of the poop. Huh. You can see my screen cracked. I don't know if I mentioned that already. I might have. But the shotgun does do significantly more damage than the other one. Than the Gatling gun, I think they call it. And they do offer you some health things though, dude. I wish that it didn't make the screen get all like gray though when you got damaged. Cause it's a beautiful looking game if it's all in color. 
but you only get to see it if you're in full health. But you see our little, uh, our little robot guy has changed the way he's holding the gun. That's pretty neat. And, uh, things are going pretty good so far. I can't complain. Oh god, okay, well we shouldn't have gotten nailed there. Do we make it? Alright, dude. Straight into World 3. There's no lives. There's no continues. The first menu said there's a continue after World 4, but... I've never been there. Oh, and this is why. Because of these things. Oh my god, we are just getting demolished. Dude, what's that? That's a new gun. Wait, is that the same gun? It says you've just collected a Gatling improvement. Alright. Could use a health pack. Just saying. So what are these? Mines or something? I don't know, dude. Everything's starting to move like super fast. I think we'll get some strafes in. Try to avoid getting our butts lasered off. Ow. Man, those guys hurt so bad. A health kit would be a godsend right now. Come on, baby. Oh, there it is. Get it? Yes. Man, you gotta, like, focus up. You know this Gatling improvement? I like it. It's working really well. The only thing that gets us is those dang laser boys. Die already. Man, a laser boy and... Oh, no! The fear of gasoline creates the fear of metal. What? Well, we got a new record, but now we got to start over. Dun dun dun. We'll do one more run. See how far we get. Man, I'm missing that Gatling improvement already. But, as uh, last year with the uh, Shmupocalypse, sh which I didn't see Days putting on this year, which is too bad. It was like the month of October was awesome, but he's been involved in Monster Hunter and... You can't blame a man for getting involved in that. Um, I would play a shmup for the first time on like a Monday, and then I would practice all week. And then on Friday I would record a second video to see how I had improved, right? The entire goal of the experiment last October, I think it was last October, was to uh, try to get better at shmups, right? And to do that, we had to have measures of where we were, where we were going and how we had improved and the best way I thought to do that was to just play it raw and then go back in after some practice and see how things have changed and uh, needless to say it was actually really cool um, by the end of it I had really really fallen in love with the genre and learned to uh, appreciate it we learned to appreciate the difficulty oh my god and the movement could really use one of them health kits now. I'm ignoring all of my rules of like staying cool and collected and in the same spot. But uh, you know, from that, I learned. Um, I played a lot of very awesome shmups, and the best ones are Stared and Binary Stars, of course. No one will ever argue with that. But also, Dan Maku Unlimited 3 was another one that I really, really liked. Oh my god, I'm doing so bad. And, um, ooh, there's some help. I need that. Can I grab it? Oh, whew, that was close. Alright, let's be cool. That was a rough first world, I ain't gonna lie. And I don't think our health recharges. Um, what's the other one I really liked? Steered in. Oh, uh, what's that one where you, like, Oh yeah, let's get our shotgun in. Oh, my slowdown kicked in. I always hit the wrong button. B is the slowdown button, and that's not what I wanted. Okay, we need a health kit. We need that health kit. We need to survive. Got it. Ouch. What are the odds that we get a second one to save us from ourselves? Probably pretty low, man. Oh, we'll see. Um, it's the one where it's like kind of 
greedy, you charge up some stuff. What the heck was the name of that shmup? Okay, we need to know. We need to know. We're gonna look. These are all the games. These are all the games. Where is it? Um, oh, it's been a while since I've played it, so it's probably gonna be way down here. But it's really important. Um, because it was awesome. It's like the 3D boy. Oh my god, it's not here. Where is it? I should recognize it if I see it. It's not Sky Force. Asterbreed. Oh man, Asterbreed and Anger Force you saw there. Two fantastic, fantastic games. Yeah, Asterbreed. Asterbreed wasn't that long, and I was able to actually successfully beat it. Um, during my week of practice, I think I actually beat it during the test run, where it was like, okay, how, how, how did we do? And that was actually really exciting. I liked it a lot. Ouch. You know, Skyforce Reloaded was actually pretty good, too. Um, Skyforce was one of those games where you, like, always kind of had progression. And you, like, could upgrade things and get a lot of stuff. It wasn't like this, where it's, like, one and done, you know? And I like, I like shmups like that, that, like, give you the opportunity to, uh, get stuff and improve along the way. Sheridan does that to a degree, but not in the same way that the others do, because in things like Sky Force and uh, even Anger Force, Anger Force, you uh, you upgraded your ships as you went along, so each run got a little easier, you know, because you could have more weapons and more abilities. But um, Grood takes no prisoners, man. Here we go, back to World Four. Let's do it. Health kit right away, dude. Give it to us. Oh, no. The laser boys are here. Not again. Oh, improved Gatling. Oh, no. I ripped my slow-mo again. Whatever, man. Let's find us a health kit. Let's just hang out. Up. How about we hang out up here? Dude, those guys have some health. And the screen's so dark. I'm gonna miss a health kit if I see it. Alright, we're trying to be cool. If we get hit with one more of those, we're toasted. We need a health kit ASAP. Get away from me. <gasps> there it is. Got it. Oh, good. There's hope. Another health kit? Why don't we just hang out at the top? Although, once that laser one kicks in, we're toasted again. Come on, baby. Give us another health kit. Not another laser. I'm just gonna hang out on this side. I don't think he fries you from the back. Oh no. Not a missile. Come on, man. I know there's gonna... There it is. I need it. Oh, okay. So we're doing so we're doing good. We might actually stand a chance here, as long as we don't get hit by another laser guy. Oh, there he is. I hate him. What a turd. Now we definitely need another health kit. Please, dude, we are so close. I'm just trying to focus up top here. But if another laser one comes in, it's gonna fry us for sure. Oh, maybe we get lucky. Maybe we get lucky. <gasps> there it is, I need it. Quick. Oh, that was very close. But we're doing okay. Ow! <gasps> no! It happened again. <sighs> anyway, this is Grood. It's tough. It's hard. I'm gonna do one more run here. If I get past level four, I'll cut it in. If not, man, be good to each other. And I will see you guys in the next one. If you're looking for a challenge, dude, definitely. Oh my god, we should just mulligan this run immediately. If you're looking for a challenge, man, you should start over. Or I should start over, but no, you should check this out. But, uh, take care.